You know who I am. You will never see me coming. I have a new plan, and you all will suffer for what you have done to me. <laughs> Not this time, my pets. For this time, I have an awesome plan. An ingenious plan, as a matter of fact. <laughs> Those fools created an episode out of the events that resulted in my last failure. No matter, for I, Professor von Slickelstein, have written a review, a review so bad it will cripple their confidence. Ah, ah yes! Hmm. Yes, the show has potential to be good, but needs to find its grounds in the next couple of episodes. Otherwise, just like the ball itself, it will wither and die. <laughs> that is gold. Oh, this is going to be so good. They will read this and become even more paranoid. <laughs> oh dear, aren't I fabulous? <laughs> oh, those fools are probably cowering in their little hole right now, awaiting my very next move. Here's a story. Ginger Channel. That year had the remote. I think Bruce had it. Hmm. What? Just ate our only remote! Oh, I'm sorry, but I'm hungry. <laughs> so are the rest of us. When is Dan coming back with that pizza anyway? Oh, you'll be back soon. No! Oh, we're gonna change the TV. Oh, oh, come on, Ronnie! You can do it! Oh, press that button! Oh, oh. Almost got it! Come on, Rodney, you can reach it. Hey guys, I got lunch. Food. Uh oh. Whoa! Food, 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 food. Ah! Ah! No, 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 Uh oh. Ah. Grace! Oh, oh, John, come in. Don't knock or anything. I do flat no lunch. My house, my garage. I don't have to. It's a pizza and it's already flat. Anyway, the producer is here and wants to talk to you. Wait one moment. Bruce. Hmm? Bruce. <laughs> Oh! 
Producer? Yeah, Mr. Smith. Oh, yes. He must be here to tell us how great our first show was. What show? Oh, yeah, uh, the fourth wall and all that, you know. Uh, yeah. Oh, well, let's go. Well, he didn't say we didn't have to wait for him. Maybe we should wait till he gets back. We waited. Miko, mate, how are you this morning? Not too bad. I was a lot better before I see the review of your new show. Yeah, they were all great, weren't they? But, hang on a minute. This is an online review. Michael Cecil Smith's new show, The Fairy Menaces, has some good points and some of the characters are enjoyable to watch, but the plot is something less than desirable. Well, uh, first shows are always tricky. You know, some plot points need to be developed better and uh, characters as well, you know, but yeah. The show lacked any direction, the humour is childish and the villain has more character than one of its leading supporting roles, the character John, and that's saying a lot because the villain was a rubber ball. What? The show has potential to be good, but needs to find it in the next few episodes, otherwise quite like the rubber ball itself, it will wither and die. Wow, that cuts really deep. It finishes with this. It's almost exactly the same as the show from the 90s, The Ferals, copying the Rock Monster episode. A new story that is original and less copying will help. So, to get, get you back on track, I've hired a director who can provide you with a good story. Here's her address. Oh, come on, Mick. You know us. Besides, you read our first script. That ball wasn't even supposed to be here. And, well, uh, you know, it wasn't a success, but it was still good. With a good director at the helm, it would be a success. Here, this is the address where she is now. Okay. <sighs> John, about the review. Have you ever considered taking acting lessons? Remind me why we're here again. Because apparently we need a director and she lives here. She? That's what I said. <sighs> Can I help you? Oh, hi. I'm Maurice and this is Bruce. I didn't ask for your life story. What do you want? Michael Smith sent us here. Ah, Michael. My best friend. What does that weasel want? Best friend? Oh, well, I haven't seen him for three years, but we're still best friends. So why has he sent you to? To get a director for our show, The Very Menaces. Uh, yes. I've seen that. Oh, good. Did you like it? It was rubbish. Ouch. No, oh, I enjoy a challenge. I'll do it. Come on in. Thank you. Mwah. Aren't you a little old to be playing with toys? This is not a toy cow. This is a street racer. And there's a competition on this weekend and I'm gonna win it. What competition? The one where you can win $500. I'll never understand boys and their toys. It's man versus man. Skill versus skill. It's an extreme spot where you have to be wittier than your opponent. Hey guys, has anyone seen my phone? Maybe John could enter, and then you wouldn't come last. Can you help me look? Oh, I uh, think I've got it. Oh, I'm late for my for my hair appointment. I gotta, I gotta go. Bye. 
I'm yeah. busy. Doing what? Powering my street racer. Your what? My street racer. This weekend is. Uh, I found it! I gotta go. Enjoy playing with your toys, George. Uh, Not again! <laughs> Things to my audition. And the top is off! You didn't even call! Look, Bella, the only reason you're still directing for me is because no one else will hire you. Not since that show where those kids were hurt in that scenery explosion. That wasn't me. It was that stupid techie intern. Even still, I had a reputation! Reputation? You know what? Yeah, you do. Of violence! Oh, you're so lucky right now! Look, I'm not in the mood to argue. What happened three years ago happened, and that's it. I believe in these guys and their ideas, so give them a chance. I don't see them getting past three episodes. Look, I'll make you a deal. If it does, you have to direct the next four episodes. And if it fails... You can have that show you always wanted. Done. Hello, theatre review show! <laughs> the script is terrible! It doesn't have any of our names on it! The set is like something from Downtown Abbey! It's filled with reality TV jokes and pop culture references that are either out of date or nobody likes, and for some reason, Bruce is wearing a wig! Yeah, why am I wearing this wig? It's a wig. Wigs are funny. Just read the script. Boy, Jingo Joe Anna, your hair looks really lovely today. <clears throat> Why, thank you, Sheen. I have to look my best for my auditions on Survivor The X Factor. This is stupid. Nobody watches these shows anymore, and those who do have nothing better to do at all. Shut up! You are the actor, the mechanism in the clock. I am the large key that keeps the clock turning. You will do as you're told. Listen to my 10 years experience. <sighs> okay, take two. This sucks. You know we're here for support. I wonder where Kelly is. Yeah, I know, she should be. Ah, uh, actor, I hate her. You. Lazy bones. Yes, you. Run down to the local beans, please. Get me a cappuccino, light milk, two sugars, and a strawberry donut. Now! Whoa! Whoa, oh, whoa, sorry. Whoa, watch it. Uh, oh, hi. You must be, uh... I'm Bella Blaster, director, stage, and television. Now, where's my production manager? Production manager? Why do you need production manager? This is your house. To fix this god awful show, you, you're fired. Fired? From what? Need a new female lead. You, you're fired too. But now you're my props assistants. Can you make explosives? Uh, yeah. I need them for the next scene. Where's my cappuccino? Explosives? I don't know. I'll be back soon. Uh, Alright, I'll, okay. I'll just wait here then. Oh, this is Cut, cut, cut! You're terrible! Oh, come on. 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 Oh, come I'm impressed. Now go stand somewhere until I need you. Uh, hey, uh. stop! Where is my phone? Oh, do I have to do everything around here? You two figure out your lines before I finish this or you're fired! Hey, you should have stayed in the sun. Hey, John. 
What are you doing standing there? I'm standing somewhere. Yes, I can see that. But why? Um, the director told me to. Speaking of, um, why aren't you in there? Well, she's mean. And Runny and I decided to hide. She's not that bad. Shh! Here she comes! I don't understand, Miss Blaster. Why even give these guys that script? It's terrible! All I want is to get rid of these guys! Yes, but remember what happened to the last group? Yeah! They were canned and haven't had any work since! Exactly. This will make sure none of these bums ever work again. Imagine giving something like that its own TV series. Because it failed? Wouldn't that make it your second failure? Just the director, not the writer. Remember, we slapped their name on it and presto, they get the blame. <laughs> and anyway, I have a deal with Michael. If this show fails, I get my own show. I'm going to do a theatre review show. I'll call it an evening of theatre with Bella. That sounds wonderful, Miss Blaster. And that guy inside, you asked him to make explosives? Because we are literally going to blow these guys away. It'll make sure they're never seen again. <laughs> Isn't that murder? Not if it looks like an accident. <laughs> You're just like the Wicked Witch of the West, Miss Blaster. You're pure evil. <laughs> I love it. Yes, I know. <laughs> I'll take care of them. <laughs> Guys, she's gonna blow us up! Who is? Bella! <gasps> no way, John. Michael wouldn't let her do that to us. It's true! We heard her talking on the phone to someone! She wants her own show! Unfortunately, it's just your word. There isn't any proof. Hey, guys! Got it! What? The explosives! Ah! 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 Calm down, everyone! I'm sure it's all going to be okay. You lot are needed on set right now. You, what are you doing here? I got the explosives. Ah, oh, good boy. Take them back to the car and wait till I'm ready. Okay. Okay, you lot. Back inside now. You. <gasps> you're out of here. You're fired. You can't do that. Yeah, he's the leader. Yeah. Well, maybe you want to join him too. Good now. Well, stop a beard on me and I'll be the lead fuzzy menace. Take five while I get ready. Right, that's it. I'm mad as hell and I'm not gonna take it anymore. Let's get her, guys. Do you have a plan? I do, actually. Find Rodney and meet back here in five. What? No way! She can't do that. That is murder! Not if you make it look like an accident. There has got to be something we can do. Hey George, is your remote control car working yet? And is it here? Uh, it's not complete yet, but yeah. Hmm. Come on guys, this is no time for games. We've got to stop Bella. Well, I happen to have a really good idea. Yeah, we are listening. Spoilers! You guys will just have to wait till the next scene. Right guys, remember the plan? Yes, but go over it for the audience. Okay, John and Zan are over by the door and they're going to can, can open it. Why are we outside? <laughs> because that's what the script says. Uh -huh. Anyway, as soon as they hear her coming, they're going to open the door, or John is, going to open the door, drive the car through it, Push a big red button, she blows up. Isn't that better? No, not if it makes it look like an accident. Besides, I've already taken out half the powder of it, so it'll just knock her out. Oh, okay. 
This is not what we set out to do, Maurice. I know, but we are a family and we stick together no matter what. Okay, here we go. Get in here, minions! That's the signal! Go, 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 go! It's stuck! What's stuck? The door! Do I have to do everything? Stop looking around! Alright, we're going in! What on earth is? What? Smile, you son of a. Well, that's what I call getting out of a explosive situation. Did we get her? I'll go check. That was some clever thinking there, George. Well, we couldn't let it blow you guys up. Well, it was a good thing you had that car, George. Yeah, sure. My car! Oh, well, he wouldn't have won anyway. He would have just ended up disappointed. Just like now. Oh, dear. Oh, well. Speaking of which, what happened to my pizza? Oh. It was Louis' idea. Hey! Who could you? Uh oh. Hey! <laughs> Come back here! I'm not finished with you! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Number somewhere. Where's that book? Ah. Just sit right back and hear a tale, a tale. Yes, what? Oh! Hi, Mother! Yeah. Yes, I was just about to. No. But, but, Mom! Yeah. No. No? Yeah. But. Okay, yes, yes, I will be home for dinner. Yes, no, 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 listen, mom, listen. You put the little hot dog thingies inside the pastry. Yes, yes. Love you too, mommy. Kisses. Goodbye. Uh, well, at least this time I didn't get hit in the face. Right! This time, you're all getting our boots! Breathing and panting when you pick up the phone. Lock all your windows and never stay home.
Excuse me though, sir. Did you see a little crocodile come by this way? Oh, okay. Thanks for your time. Thanks a lot, Mr. Cal. This has to be, without a doubt, the worst cameo I've ever had the misfortune of seeing. <laughs>